What's up everybody, Chris here from Pro Paint Jobs and today we're going to discuss the tools necessary to do a basic paint job. Everything you would need for wall repairs, the paint job itself. This is something you should have on every job site. Now today we're in this unit, we actually painted this, the accent hallway, the downstairs hallway going to the basement. There's a full finished basement down there that's actually tan. Uh, we did this whole accent wall. Now the customer's having us back because they're leaving and they want to return everything back to white. But the point of this video is all about the tools. Everything you need to tackle the job. All right, here it is. This is the basic, the basic stuff you need. First off, we always want a strainer. You want to strain your paint every single time you, you open up the can. I don't care if you just bought it from the store. You pour the paint through here into your tray. And, uh, you know, you'd be surprised what's in there. Dried up paint, just contamination, things like that. We don't want that on the walls, so we use a strainer. Next is a tray. Now, we're doing all white, so we need a big tray. This is a 14-inch, very deep tray. And holds a lot of paint. And, example, if we were just doing one accent wall, I'd use a 9-inch tray. But this one here, we're going to use the big 14-inch tray. Love it. Got a bunch of these. Next. We're going to go with a 14 inch roller and a handle. This is an hour worthy 14 inch microfiber roller. Very minimal spray, pretty expensive, but it's worth it. We got a sanding head because we want to sand the walls up and down before we paint them. So we give it a quick blast with this. Sanding blocks. We have a lot of these. Everyone has one at all times. You know, we might sand the whole place and while you're painting you might see something that you missed with the sanding head or just see something that needs a sand. You'd never want to paint over it so this has got to stay on you all the time. Back pocket. We got some cork, a nice dripless cork gun and some Alex Plus, this stuff dries in 30 minutes. There's fast dry that dries in 20 minutes. 30 minutes is fine. I love it. We go through cases of this stuff. Always keep this handy. Knives, spackle knives, putty knives, however you want to say it. We use these to, uh, you know, do our patches like those guys. We have a hawk. We use this to mix our mud on. We don't want to mix and damage any surfaces. So we just mix on this hawk, and we use this a few times a day. Very good. We have the handle in the tool bag. Sausages, whole bunch of four inch rollers. That's what these are, we call them sausages. Now these are microfiber as well. These are our worthy microfiber. Three eighth inch nap sausages, excellent, handy, you know, Squeeze behind radiators, you need these things, they're very important. Obviously a brush, don't leave home without it. This is a pro form two inch angle sash contractor brush. Probably the best brush I ever used. I'll get into that in another video. Sticks, poles, extension poles, whatever you want to call them. Four foot and an eight foot. Always keep those handy. And you know, I have longer ones in the van. Face masks, especially in these old Brooklyn houses. Uh, especially one with the filter in there. These Brooklyn buildings and apartments loaded with dust. And when you're sanding, you don't want to breathe it in. We have a rag. Everyone always keeps a rag on them. 
you know, we're not perfect. So every time we do drip, we wipe it right up. Now, last thing is my tool belt. The tool belt that goes with me everywhere. I suggest everyone get it. Now, over the years, I kind of figured out what I really need in here. Now, there's a whole bunch of things in the tool bag. I have a giant tool bag there as well. That tool bag has paint thinner, Allen keys, other things, a whole bunch of things in there that I don't need on me at all times. What I do need is this stuff. So over the years, you realize what you need. So let's just dissect this and see what this is about. I have a duster. That's just an old brush. I have a bunch of them. When they get to that point, I use them as a duster. We have needle nose. You're always going to need a little needle nose. A couple of Sharpies. I have a pen light. At the end of a job, I like to inspect things, especially maybe I'm in, a, I'm in a dark hallway. You always need some light. I have a screwdriver. Multiple settings in here. There's two tips here. You flip it out. There's two tips on the other side. And you could also use this. I have a wire brush. I like to clean things out at the end of the day. I use that wire brush. I have my five in one. That's my best friend in the whole entire world. I use that thing everywhere. I have a utility knife. You always need one of these. You want to cut out some things from the walls. You may need that. And lastly, I saw a little sheet of sandpaper in there too. Lastly, in the back, I always like to keep a nice artist brush around. Um, sometimes when you're on a ladder, and you're six, eight feet up, and there's a little spot up there that you probably need to get, and you don't want to make a huge mess, you use this. Nice little artist brush. Last thing, of course, is a broom. You want to sweep up every single way you go. These are just the basic things you need for a paint job. Very necessary. Again, there's a whole bunch of things in the bag. I got drills, all the kinds of caulk. I got wood filler in there. I mean, you never know if you need things like that. So you just take the whole thing with you so you don't have to keep running back and forth. Either way, Chris here from Pro Paint Jobs. We're gonna go ahead and convert all of this to white. I'll show you how it is and we'll conclude the video. See you in a little bit. Oh yeah, and I forgot one very important thing. Probably the most important tool that we use. Is a good old radio. We can't go without Scott Shannon in the morning. New York City uh, oldie station. We love our 80s music. Either way, this job's complete. Everything got a nice fresh coat. Multiple coats. That used to be a big accent wall. More of the same downstairs. That whole hallway was um, dark say the least. It's beautiful now. Alright, so this video wasn't really about the paint job that came out fantastic. It was more about the tools, the things we need, the day-to-day -day stuff, the, the basics. Anyway, those are some things you need for the job site. My name is Chris, Pro Paint Jobs. I'll see you next time.